Hey guys, Jenny Streeby here, also known as Confessions of a Hairstylist, and I'm gonna show you guys how to utilize the Dyson Corel flat iron. This thing is amazing, and can you see this? It's cordless. I'm gonna show you how to use it and create this gorgeous upstyle. Let's get started. Okay, we're gonna use the Dyson Corel. Check this out. We're just gonna unlock it here. So slide that up. We're gonna open it up. Now, we're gonna actually press on. I love how it's digital. You can tell that the battery is fully charged. Then, we're gonna just go ahead and hit the plus sign. Okay, we're just gonna watch it heat up now. Once you get the check, we are ready to rock and roll. All right. So, we're gonna do some flat iron curls. And what we're gonna do is go away from the face. What I love about this flat iron that it's actually flexible plates. So we're gonna clamp down and kind of glide the hair through, grabbing the tips of the hair and then pulling it back. Do the same thing kind of all over. What I love about flat iron curls is that it gives like kind of a, a updo, like a modern take, because the hair isn't as curly. When I create my flat iron curls, I like to take random sections, not too big, not too little, but kind of a variety of sizes to really give that erratic texture, especially for the updo we're creating today. turn her and I'm gonna curl the other side and you guys check this out so we have the cord and this is actually cordless yes I said cordless how fun is that the battery actually lasts for 30 whole minutes Now that I've just finished curling her hair with the Dyson Corel flat iron, I'm gonna go ahead and plug it back in for later. And lock it and it automatically turns off. I'm gonna add a little bit of shine spray in this style and then brush out these curls. What I love about it too is that I feel like the Dyson Corel didn't actually collapse her hair. It actually has a lot of volume in it still. We're gonna gather all the hair in the back at the nape of the neck. I'm gonna pull some hair out around the face. We're gonna create a low ponytail before we get started with our style. Gather and secure with a hair elastic. Okay, before getting started with our little updo, we're gonna hold onto the base of the ponytail. We're gonna use some flexible fold air spray in there. And then we're gonna take quarter inch sections and pinch and pull it up to really pop up some volume. This is also gonna create an erratic texture. Now we're gonna do a topsy tail technique. Yes, I said topsy tail. It's kind of an older technique, but we're gonna create a beautiful updo with it, and it's so simple. So we're just creating a gap through it, slitting the hair in half on top of the hair elastic. We're gonna pull the hair through, but we're not gonna pull all the way through. So we're gonna pull it through. You can see at the bottom here, it's right here. We're gonna secure it with a bobby pin before we let these hairs kind of down. And this hair is just gonna go under this roll. So we're gonna clip it away. 
and then we're gonna utilize some bobby pins. So for this, we're going to take our thumb in the roll and where thumb is, is where we're gonna slide the bobby pin. We're gonna do a couple of those because she has pretty thick hair. Okay, now we're just gonna release that clip. Now we're gonna take the ends of these and just kind of tuck them in. Depending on the client's hair, too, they might have longer hair or shorter, but you can kind of um, just, I would personalize it how you see fit. So we're gonna take a little bit of hairspray and then some more bobby pins. And you can let these pieces down too if you'd like, but I'm gonna take some of the longer pieces and then kind of twist the ends with our bobby pin and then we're gonna press it right into that base. Okay, now we're just gonna massage some of the hair out to kind of have all the textures match. So the top and the back here, again, kind of pull on it a little bit, kind of massage the hair out, let some of that flat iron waves come out a little bit. You can see how it's just kind of really bringing it out. So I'm just almost like massaging it. All right, now we're just gonna take the Dyson and just do a little detailing out, add a little bit more bend right here, but I want this little piece right here to be a little straighter, this piece too, just to give it that modern flair. Now that it's cordless, I can literally just go on the other side here, which is really fantastic. Do the same thing on this side, straighten that. All right, that's about it. Thank you so much. And I'm obsessing over the Dyson Corel, especially that it's cordless. I'll see you guys soon.